Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you about the reaction of alkyne. See this is one hexane terminal alkyne and there are two step reaction. One is this boron reagent SI, SI alpha 2 BH sorry and next step is reaction with sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. So you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. So four options are provided here and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because self evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. So I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. So the first step is reaction of this one hexane or this terminal alkyne with SI alpha 2 BH and you can see the structure of this SI alpha 2 BH here these two means bio secondary butyl chain is there uh, and it's attached to one BH. So from this thing you can understand that it has one unit reducing capability because one boron hydrogen bond is there obviously. So, it will transfer only one equivalent of hydrogen okay and since nothing no stoichiometry mentioned so you can consider this is one is to one reaction. So, now let us start. So, first step is addition of this BH across this carbon carbon triple bond or more specifically we said pi bond and we know that boron hydrogen addition to pi bond is cis via four member transitions that I have already discussed in dedicated lecture please visit for better understanding. So this is cis addition a cis hydrogenation. So this boron and hydrogen will be transferred from the same side fine and not only that see this boron is attached to two SI alpha 2 group big group. So it prefers to remain in remain in less bulky side. So this side has one hydrogen not only that these alkyl group and boron are far apart to each other. So, the steric repulsion interaction between these two is minimum in this way. So, this is the hydroboration product. So, this first step I can consider hydroboration. Second step is oxidation because sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide reacted with this alkyl boron. So, alkene boron better to say. So, what it produces this sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide reacts together and it produces these hydroperoxide anion plus water. Obviously, sodium is the counter cation. So, these will react to this boron center and through migration ultimately it will produce alcohol because we know that in terms of this sodium uh, hydroxide hydrogen peroxide carbon boron bond is oxidized into carbon OH hydroxylation. So, that is why this step is called oxidation. So, overall the reaction is hydroboration oxidation reaction. I have already discussed many lectures. Please visit for better understanding. Now, so in this way this part will be produced is alcohol pretty easy, but it is not student actually a pure alcohol if you look at this is an enol. So, this is enol because we have taken one alkyne there were two pi bonds one pi bond got reduced by this boron hydrogen means boron but one pi bond is still remaining and we know that enols are not that much stable but it is tautomer. So, this is tautomerism it is tautomer keto is relatively more stable and this is actually more specifically if I say it is an aldehyde. So, using this method you can consider you can convert alkyne into terminal alkyne into aldehyde. So, this bias this SI alpha 2 BH even 9 BBN you can also use. So, it and further next step is the oxidation with sodium hydroxide to produce this same carbon alkyne to aldehyde. Now, so what is the answer? Answer of today's question is aldehyde. So, option D is the right answer. Now, if this question is provided in your exam less than 30 seconds, how can you come to the right answer? First of all, you need to understand the SI alpha 2 BH big bulky boron and one BH is there. So, one equivalent reduction will happen and boron prefers to remain in the less bulky side. So, boron will be attached from this terminal one. It is true. Next is sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So, obviously, there will be double bond OH and rest of things are here fine. So, and these OH, oh, terminal position OH, so tautomerism aldehyde fine. Now, why not the other option? See, the, there is only one BH, so 
two double bond reduction means two pi bond reduction not possible. Second, it's actually double bond isomerization. Did I provide any heating type of this thing? No. So isomerization not possible. And internal means this ketone. No, 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 no. Boron prefers to attach to the less bulky side, so it will not be able to produce this ketone. This aldehyde will be the product. So using this logic, you can come to the right answer very fast. But students, study and practice is essential for that. Now, in conclusion, what you have learned today that these bulky boron reagents are very selective reagent for hydroboration reaction and this SI alpha 2 BH is actually one equivalent reducing agent because there is only one BH bond. Due to this excessive bulkiness, it prefers to sit on the less bulky and less substituted or transposition. Okay, by the way, if I say it has one BH, now if you take BH3, it has two, three BH, so three substitution possible, obviously here one possible. And third point, this hydroboration is actually cis addition of BH across the pi bond and it follows the anti Markovnikov types, although it is not because if you consider this HBr versus age B polarity will understand it's following that rule. Now alkyne undergoes selective hydroboration reaction on the one pi bond and these resulting compound converts to the ketone no 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 not ketone alkyne if you say take terminal alkyne that will be aldehyde and if you take internal uh, if terminal alkyne then it will result in aldehyde and if you take internal alkyne then it will result in keto and in ketoenol tautomerism the equilibrium prefers to remain in the keto side due to the enhanced stability of carbon oxygen double bond so this is the end of this question i believe this video will be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so thanks for watching see you in my next video bye